I think when you actually look at our SEM Bureau decarbonisation roadmap, uh, we've tried to focus on the five stages. It's really clinker to cement to concrete to construction to carbonisation. I think the important thing with concrete particularly is when we build with concrete and whatever you build comes to the end of its useful life, the co that building is demolished, um, the concrete can be crushed and reused and that saves virgin material clearly and it's an important part of the um, circular economy. A very positive agenda in our work on 2040 will be circularity. Um, I am personally convinced that this decade is about decarbonisation. The next decade will be about dematerialisation, uh, which doesn't mean that we do away with all materials, but that we get much more value from every unit of material and uh, resource that uh, we have in the economy, including CO2. And so what we will try to do with the 2040 work is to give a perspective, a predictability for the investment, also from uh, different industrial sectors, to make sure that we have a smooth path towards uh, 2050. The carbonization, it is crucial that we start thinking, even before the construction of the buildings, in how to reduce the CO2 emissions coming from the design, its materials, the demolition even, and the reuse of materials coming from its demolition. We've heard before about the reuse and recycling of materials. There's only so much mater secondary material to get to, but reach that and then also look at how to reduce the demand of your material actually through different sufficiency measures. But what we are seeing is regardless of the choice of materials, it's going to be a mix of materials. So even if you are looking at wood construction, you're going to have a mix of steel, wood, cement. So we are not, we are definitely not riding one technology horse or one uh, material horse when it comes to, to housing. We do have a housing affordability problem and I think many of our capital cities. I mean, it's infecting definitely not only vulnerable groups now. Um, we are seeing students having to turn down places in university because they don't have accommodation, key workers, um, uh, teachers being pushed out of cities. We are looking for long-lasting uh, solutions, concrete. You are looking for something which is fully, uh, can be fully recyclable, concrete. Net zero carbon operation or almost net zero carbon operation, embodied carbon and what you can do on the production side. And you have to bring that into balance, then you are on the cost optimal. We have huge targets, uh, the targets are costly, so it's time to cooperate to achieve the targets together.